Tony and Tiffany at this time. First of all, I want to say thank you for the opportunity to come up and share and, and uh, something that I have known for a long time and, and Tiffany's mom and I knew when she was young that she was going to be doing something in her life that would make a difference in the lives of others. Uh, and, and we've kind of narrowed that down throughout the time uh, of her growing up uh, to this point that it's either going to be something in missions or something in like children's ministry or youth ministry or something along that lines. And uh, I'm going to let her share what she's doing. But she is most definitely called uh, to serve God uh, in wonderful ways with her adventurous spirit and with her love for others. Uh, so I'm going to have Tiffany share what she's doing. Hello. So I'm kind of nervous because this is my first public speaking of any sort. So just bear with me here. But this year, not even a month ago, I was accepted to participate in a two-month-long boot camp with an organization called Teen Missions International. And my team will be going to Honduras to backpack and share the love of God through puppets and drama, music, and different evangelistic presentations at nearby parks and marketplaces. We'll also be working with a local Indian tribe helping with the students and kids and possibly even building houses to help them. But the first two weeks of this trip will be spent in Florida for training and then the rest of it will be in Honduras with my team. And I'll be leaving to go to Florida this June 27th and I'll be getting back around August 13th. All this will cost about four thousand dollars so we're trying to raise financial support but we're not only trying to raise financial support but also spiritual support through prayer and all that good stuff so but by doing this I can get a recommendation to Florida Free which is a three-year schooling process which will be spending the first two years studying and applying the Bible and the third year as an intern with one of their missionaries and after which I'll have a full Bible degree. So that's it. We will have forms available. This is, uh, there's a couple of them. One is uh, ways that you can support through prayer, and one is, and also through giving. So. Uh, these I've already given Carl some so that we can have some available for you all. So, in addition to that, you can always make a donation to Tiffany's mission through giving in the offering plate. Just put on the memo uh, that it's for Tiffany's mission or on the envelope that this is for Tiffany's mission. It is a great opportunity for us to participate in the formation of yet one more young person to go into ministry. Uh, this church has had a great legacy of that. And this is a chance to continue, one that we can see her face and to hear about her experiences. Um, so this is a great opportunity. So consider giving some uh, in the offering today. And then if you want to do some continued giving or something more upon that, look at that, uh, the form. And uh, certainly we will also add Tiffany to our prayer list. Thank you so much for sharing. We look forward to this experience with you. Yes. We would love to be able to stay and answer questions or talk further about it after worship. But like was mentioned already, we are heading down to Lawton. I'm speaking at a uh, Reconciling Ministries community luncheon down there. Uh, and it's the Re Southwest Oklahoma Reconciling Ministries community, as well as the Cameron University LGBT Pride Group. Uh, we're coming together to have a lunch, and I'll be speaking at that. So we're getting ready to leave now. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. Travel safely.